Hey love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for being you. You know, you're stepping into your light, you know, you're, you're, you're not downing yourself, you know, down, down in your light for anybody and you are not watering yourself down for anybody, which is kudos for you. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell, especially when you know when your girl's about to upload the next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and hit me towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has gave you good vibes or just even good information you would love to share with a loved one or a friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving my, me and the channel. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And this peaceful music, I don't think you can really hear it. Um, let me turn it up a little bit. Um, is called Luck and Prosperity Meditation. Miracle Music, Sofigo Frequency, Money Attraction Happens. Now, we'll post that link in the description box below. There ain't nothing wrong with, you know, sending some extra money your way. You know, it's, it's blessed from the divine or anything that's positive that comes towards your way in any kind of abundance. I really feel that way. But today, my video is about um, Twin Flame 101 make that bold cho choice and step into your power um that i mean we have to do that sometimes sometimes when we are i think when it comes to divine source or spirit guides or whatever you know from powers that be you know they can bestow us on some gifts that we were not prepared to take on and i know that's a lot to be able to do you know but you know that when you're when you're able to do these things you know there is for a reason you know and it's just like for a while there's sometimes i just look at my dad's picture and it's just like are you serious is this what you really put me into and it's a blessing i'm you, trust me i'm not complaining but there are sometimes it feels surreal that when you're able to do the things that you do you know i love what i do I really do. I mean, there's times I get so emotional at times because it's just the fact is I feel every vibration. Even, you know, I feel people coming towards my way, especially if they're new, that has not even came my way yet. Or I feel the power within people's words that, you know, they tell me about the good things that are going on in their life and, you know, the proud of the accomplishments they're you know they're coming into or if it has something to do with their children they're proud of those things you know I'm like mother B at the same time like oh I'm so happy for y'all or you know I feel sad when you know other empaths extended family that I talk to on a daily basis go through things I get so upset you know because I don't want to see them in pain you know um because it's just like with us being empaths as it is, is, is a hard pill to swallow. You know, dealing with the things you deal with can be, it feels like a burden at times. You know, you can get very, very upset. You can get very overwhelmed by the things that we consume, you know. But it's just like when you can step in into that, you know, making that bold choice and not being scared, even though we fear what we don't understand. There's sometimes we block ourselves and we don't know we're blocking ourselves from our blessings, you know, by putting negative thoughts into our minds or speaking negativity out or not actually accepting the things that you really truly need to accept. You know, it, it's just like when I used to, when I found out I was a white witch, when you even hear that word Wiccan or witch, you know, I used to look at it like, um, even though I used to watch a lot of shows back in the day, you know, some, uh, what was it, Bewitched, uh, Charmed, uh, The Witches of Eastwick, The Witches of Eastwind, um, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, The Teenage Witch, Charmed, Craft, The Covenant, you know, all these little things that I used to watch, you know, and it was 
thought they were just so magical. I was like, Lord, I would love to do that. Be able to, you know, there was one time I actually was able to levitate. And it was crazy. I don't know if it was just all the energy in the room. It wasn't a good thing. But it was a good thing, but it wasn't a good thing because of the outcome, you know, what happened. But, I, you know, still to this day, I'm like, dang. And I actually did it in front of people. And I'm like, dad, you didn't get on, you know, y'all didn't pull out the phone, pull World Star or, you know, how they, like, putting on live or World Star. You know, like our phones didn't work. Or, you know, we were too shocked because we actually seen you do that. And it's just so many things I've been able to do, you know, knowing those things. Because sometimes it can really scare you to death. Especially, you know, when I was growing up. My parent, you know, my mom was very intrigued by those things. She used to ask me questions because there's things that she knew I knew. There was no way of me knowing it. And I would see certain things. And, you know, my children are the same way. You know, I can, sh they'll be telling me, oh, I seen this person. And they were like, mom, you know, I see this person all the time. And they could have been passed on. But yet they would have knew this person, even if they never met them before. And I was like, wow, I'm passing this down to my children. And I never let them think you know, that was an illness, you know, I wanted them to be proud that even though they were different, you know, I wasn't able to voice my opinion like that. If I did, my mom would always make sure she was by herself. She would never make, you know, she would never make those comments when my dad was around, my adopted father was around. So, you know, it, it's just when I'm able to step into that and be proud of the gifts I'm able to do because I can use it for the greater good. I can use it for positive things. You know, there's sometimes you have dreams and premonitions about certain things that can upset you, you know, but it is what it is. You know, there are sometimes people hate that they're like that. I've seen movies where people were empaths and, you know, they would sit up here and say, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. When, you know, uh, what was it? I forgot what movie it was. I think it was Hunting in Connecticut, but it was like part two, but it was in Georgia. It was in Savannah, Georgia. And a little girl used to always play with this imaginary friend. And then the sister was like a, a psychic. You know, she was doing all the tarot cards and stuff like that. But the other sister, she would constantly take medicine. It's like, I don't know what you're talking about. To the point where she would, you know, she would uh, deny it so much. She actually stopped having them. But there would be times she would have these psychic attacks where she would see certain things and it would really terrify her. And as you have to be welcoming to it, you know, you have to be able to step into that power, into that gift that, you know, God has blessed you with. You know, God was like an indigo. So, it, excuse me, but it can, re you know, it can really be able to show you a lot of beautiful things that you can contribute to the world. You know, adding on positive things. I mean, there's so many bad things going on right now. The shutdown for economy, for, you know, people getting money, taxes and all that crazy stuff. And you know, we have Trump. So, I mean, shoot, you can't get any worse than that. You know, it's just all these things are going on. And it's just like, you know, that's why I try to push out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. And, you know, possibly that I can. And just knowing I can be able to help somebody see their light, recognize the things that they probably weren't able to recognize before is a true blessing to me. And I love to be able to do that. And it's just like, there's times that, you know, I, I didn't understand why I had to go through so much. And, you know, I used to get so angry with God. Like, why did you put me through this? Why did you allow these things to happen? But when I pushed, you know, I pushed away, you know, all the negativity and all the BS that, you know, contribute to it and actually looked at it as a positive outcome or a positive perspective. Look how many of you have helped people. Um, you know, even though there's some people I don't even talk to anymore because they used me or whatever, but at least I can say that told, you know, they'll tell a lot about their character, but it told a lot about mine too. You know, I don't wish any hatred on nobody. You know, you can't drive, you can't drive hate from hate. Only love can stop that, you know, and I always send love and light to them anyway. Even if I don't talk to them anymore, they could have put a bad taste in my mouth. Hey, you know, I still, God bless you. You know, I can actually say there's a lot of people that didn't know the reason why they were, they were where they were. And I would give them videos or send links to them. I'm like, look, I need you to watch these things and let you know this is the reason why you are the way you are. You know, there's things that are very special about you that you probably weren't able to pinpoint. Because some people will think, oh, my God, am I going crazy because I'm able to see things that other people can't see? You know, I've been in, you know, situations where there's people from... Their loved ones come from the past, you know, especially if you're just now starting to watch my videos. And it's like, I'm not, a, I really don't feel like I'm a medium, but I have medium traits. Because I'm not like, um, 
Tyler Henry or Teresa Caputo. I don't do that stuff for a living. I don't like channeling people like that. But, you know, um, if they, you know, the, the spirit's strong enough, they would come to me. And there were certain things that I would talk about, you know, found out things about certain people, especially when it came to celebrities. I would see them and it would put a really big impact on me. But it'll make me emotional, but it was a blessing to be able to experience those things. So, you know, step into your power, love the things that, you know, love to accept the things that are different about you. Because not everybody's like that. You know, you don't want to be a robot and be like everybody else. We weren't born to fit in we were born to step out you know step you know to step it out like that so it's it's just like take that as that gift you know even though i know it might be crazy or some things you can't really understand but knowing that you can be able to contribute towards something positive in the world and especially in your life and your loved ones it's a true blessing so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can know that you are truly blessed forever loved and somebody's always out there praying for your better days. And you will always stay blessed. And send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. I'm definitely sending anybody, any and everybody, love and positivity towards your way. Especially if you truly need it right now. I keep you all in my prayers. And I love y'all so much. And my post never notification goes out to... Let me see, Joshua Flores, much love to you, love and light, and sending you utmost blessings and uh, infinite blessings as well, and y'all stay blessed and safe and be responsible for everything you do, and I'll see you on my next video. Peace, and be wild.